And what's important about activating our hands is that we stay inside the pitch. You'll see this as a major problem. I think for years I've been going to softball fields and coaches say, Hit, get inside the ball, get inside the ball. Every single camp that I worked, and I worked over 35 camps last year, I would ask this question, what does that mean? And every kid says, well, hands inside the ball. That's the only, that's all they can give you as an explanation. Let me give you another way to look at it. When I load my hands from this point of view, if you're the pitcher, do I keep my hands inside of my elbow when I load? Because as I start loading here, am I inside of my elbow or am I outside of my elbow? Because again, we think about Newton's law. Newton's law is this. There's three Newton's law to motion, but one of them is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if I'm gonna take my hands back here and move them away from my body back here, what does that do to the opposite side of my body, which becomes my foot? I'm gonna immediately balance myself. You don't see people falling over in the box when they swing. It's funny. The reason is because even with their unbalanced forces, they end up balancing themselves throughout the swing. So if I take my hands away here, all I'm gonna to do to balance myself is throw my heel down. And once I throw my heel down, the heel will immediately make my body rotate. So I go here, and I just spin off like this. And we're looking for them to stay inside of their elbow here as long as they can. So as they're traveling to the ball, if they're inside of their elbow before they release, the bat now is gonna come through like this and create a whipping motion here. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But if I take my hands away early here, all I can do is pull through the zone. It's really hard to get on big plane too. Big plane would be have as much of the sweet spot of my bat on the plane of the pitch. And what ends up happening is this. If by a lot of times we are putting our kids in a bad situation, if we let them throw their hands out early and away from their body. Some kids actually start with their hands here, load here and are always outside of the ball. All they can do is pull off the ball. Here's another thing. When you watch a kid try to hit a curve ball, you'll see them step visually. They see the ball outside. So they'll take their hands to the ball. Once they get their hands here, their heel hits, their butt goes out and they swing like this. That's all because of their hands. Go back to the hands. Are they staying inside of the pitch when they load their hands? The other thing that we do at Wisconsin that we started studying is called activation of their, our hands. We want to try to activate our hands. Some people call this bat leg and they're completely afraid of it. Okay. Ultimately, it looks like this, that you are creating a 90 degree angle here with the bat. So if you see this, I have one side of a box going straight down here and the other side going straight down here. This becomes the bottom part of the box and my head is the top part of the box. A lot of kids though are like this. They're in this position when they load. So they would go here and load in this position and maybe attack like that. But what you'll find is that they really have a hard time keeping their hands inside of their elbow long enough.